Hey, it's Fern, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what to do if your dog just doesn't want to walk. He just keeps stopping. Ah. Okay, you have a dog that you're walking, and he is, he's putting on the brakes. Does not want to walk. Okay, so what do we do? Usually the problem is the dogs are pulling us forward, but sometimes dogs are actually stopping or pulling back for a number of reasons. First thing you want to do is try to determine why. What is the dog's motivation here? The first number one is maybe it's anxious. It could just be under socialized. It hasn't experienced the outside world. This is very common for puppies. You know, they haven't you know seen all the, the stimulus that's, that's out there or heard it or smelt it, and they're a little overwhelmed and they need a couple seconds to process it. So if you have a little puppy and he's not walking, just stop. You know, don't, don't have an agenda that you have to get anywhere. Let them explore a little bit, because often they just need a little time to kind of take it all in and then move forward on their terms. I mean, the more you give tension one way, the more they're probably going to give tension the other way. And you don't want more tension. You shouldn't be in a tug of war. You're not going to win that. Even if you have a little dog, psychologically, we're, we're not winning <laughs> with the dog. We're actually maybe hurting them uh, psychologically. So. We don't want to pull them. So if it's a puppy, you kind of let them explore a little bit and just notice if there's something around that might be the trigger for them being uncomfortable. Is it a sound? Is it a sight? Is it a person? Whatever it is, because then we know that's what we need to work on. Now let's say that's not the case and you're not, you're not sure why. Some dogs just like to see if they can exercise their free will and do what they want. Maybe they don't want to go in the direction that you're going. Maybe the dog park is that way and you want to go that way. So what do we do? So the first thing you want to understand is that dogs respond to confidence. So if your dog starts to pull back and you stop and are like, come on, let's go, come on, why don't you want to go? That shows a lack of confidence. You're not really sure yourself and your dog is going to know they're not really sure, so I can put on the brakes here. And if you do that nice slow pull, they're actually going to give you a pull back, more tension the other way. We don't want that. So what we need to do is a pull and then a release. So you're just going to do like a little pull and it's not a snap, it's a gentle pull and release. And what we're trying to do, I'm trying to get them to stumble forward. You know, and when I do this, I don't even look back. I'm just like, let's go. And you do a pull release, pull release, pull release until hopefully they stumble forward and do as much of it under their own power as possible. You do not want to drag them. Okay. And a lot of times I've had many clients that their dog would just set up camp there for a while and they did this once or twice with confidence and that was it. You know, the dog just followed through. So start to experiment with it. If you don't have confidence, it's a hard thing just to get automatically, so just, just try it. But the key is not to do a slow pull. It's a pull and release, pull and release to get them to kind of stumble forward on their own. Then momentum will take care of the rest. All right? The other thing you can do is use your walks as a training opportunity. So before they put on the brakes, before you leave the house, come with high value treats and start asking for simple obedience, eye contact, a sit, whatever will do, and you just get them in a training mode. Get them focused on you and the task at hand rather than what's on around them, or if it's habitual, like they always stop at this particular point, get them focused on something constructive and they can sometimes move past that trouble spot. All right, I hope that helps. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. All right, take care, I'll see you soon.